is for people to leave the lecture knowing that there are specific concrete things they can do in their lives to increase their happiness. We all have the ability to find happiness again, no matter our circumstances. And the most important lesson from the field of positive psychology is that happiness is largely about the power of effort. We have to decide that we want to be happy. We have to decide that we deserve to be happy. And we have to be willing to structure our lives in ways that bring us that happiness. Lots of things that we would sort of intuitively think makes us happy yeah. really don't. So, for example, um, having more money. Yeah. People think, if I just had more money, right, I, have I, would, fewer problems. I would have fewer problems. And what happens? More money, more problems. Different problems. Right. There is this assumption always that if I just had a little bit more, if I just had a little bit more, then I will reach this happiness. But to that ultimate question, can money buy happiness, Sanderson's emphatic answer is no. The key to contentment, she says, is not how much you earn, but how you feel about earning it. Across every dimension, happy people benefit. They are more productive at work, they are nicer to other people, they are less angry, and they also live longer. So we should all want to be happy, and we should frankly want people around us to be happy. So we do lots of things to try to be happy. What does the empirical research suggest does, in fact, increase our level of happiness? Um, and the first of those is behaviors, that there are specific behaviors we can engage in in our day-to-day -day life that, in fact, do make us happier. Um, so one of those is eating. But it's not just eating and like the act of chewing. It's eating particular kinds of food. What kinds of foods make us happy? Mac and cheese, that's a really very specific, yeah. Um, uh, mac and cheese, uh, high fat foods, high calorie foods, um, chocolate, etc. No evidence for like celery. Um, so it's not just eating, it's eating particular kinds of foods that feel good physiologically. Lots of research suggests that people who smile, even if they don't genuinely feel it, experience higher levels of happiness. Um, we often think that smiling is a manifestation of how we feel. But in fact, it can go both ways, as this quote illustrates. Sometimes your joy is the source of your smile, but sometimes your smile can be the source of your joy.